The Kidnapped King, Chapter 3. Chapter 3. Dink, Josh, Ruth Rose stared at Sammy. Um, what do you mean, who's going to dress you? Dink asked. In my country, my servants dress me and undress me, Sammy said. Yeah, right, Josh said, grinning. And my servants do my homework for me. Do you really have servants? Ruth Rose asked Sammy. Sammy nodded. I have five servants of my own. My father has twenty. Twenty servants, Josh yelled. Are you guys rich? Sammy sat on Dink's bed. We are very rich, he said. My father is... Sammy didn't finish what he was going to say. Instead, he burst into tears. Great, Josh. You made him cry, Dink said. I did not. I just asked him if he was rich. Ruth Rose sat next to Sammy. Why are you crying, she asked. Sammy didn't answer. Big tears rolled down his cheeks. Dink tossed the sweat clothes into the bed. Then he ran into his bathroom and came out of, with a wad of tissues. Here, he said. Sammy took the tissues and wiped his eyes. Do you miss your mom and dad? Ruth Rose asked Sammy. Is that why you're crying? Sammy took a deep breath and wiped his tears. I don't know where my parents are, he said. They were kidnapped last week. Kidnapped, the three other kids yelled. Sammy nodded. My father's enemies snuck into the palace and took him and my mother. Palace, Josh said. You live in a palace? What are you, a prince or something? Sammy nodded. Yes, my father is the king of Kostra. I am Prince Samir Bizaz. Bin Oz. I will be king someday. Sammy started crying again. No one said anything. Even Loretta stopped running around in her cage. Dink stared at Sammy. You're a prince, he finally asked. Does my mom know all this, Sammy? I mean, about your folks being kidnapped and everything? The boy shook his head. Only my tutor knows, he said. My parents weren't kidnapped at night. Were kidnapped at night. I was sleeping. The next day, I was snuck out of the palace and sent here so I would be safe. Safe from what? Ruth Rose asked. Sammy looked at her. His eyes were red and his nose dripped. From the kidnappers, he said. Just then, Val started barking from the front porch. They're here, Sammy cried. He jumped off the bed and ran into the bathroom. Dink looked out the window. Pal was barking at a car. It was a taxi. Dink watched it turned the corner and disappear. Come out, come on out, Sammy, Dink said. It was just your tutor leaving. Sammy stepped out of the bathroom. His eyes looked scared. I'm so sorry, he whispered. No problem, Dink said. Why don't we go down and play? He pointed to the sweat clothes on his bed. Do you really need help getting dressed? Sammy took a deep breath and grinned. No, I'm American now. I will learn to dress myself. While Sammy changed, the other kids went outside and tossed the Nerf ball in Dink's backyard. It must be so cool to be a prince, Josh said. Just imagine ordering all those servants around. Dink bopped him with the Nerf ball. Josh, Sammy doesn't care about all that stuff, he said. He misses his parents. I know, Josh said. But still, just think, he could get ice cream in the middle of the night by snapping his fingers. Sammy came out dressed in dink sweat clothes. Pal, tied to a tree, tried to lick Sammy's foot as he walked by. Sammy jumped out of reach. Is he trying to bite me? He asked. Josh laughed. Nah, he's just saying hi, he said. Pal wouldn't hurt a flea. Go ahead, pet him. Sammy stepped closer and gave Pal a pat on his head. Then he sneezed. I like him, Sammy said, but I'm still allergic. The kids taught Sammy the rules of touch football. They played until Dink's mother called them to, in to eat. Promising to come over the next morning, Josh untied Pal and headed for home. Bye, Sammy, Ruth Rose said. She cut through the hedge to her house next door. Your friends are nice, Sammy said. Do you play together every day? Sure, Dink said. Don't you play with your friends in, in that place you come from? Sammy shook his head. I have no friends. I stay in the palace and study with my tutors. No friends? Dink stared at Sammy. He couldn't imagine not having Josh and Ruth Rose to hang out with. We better go wash up, Dink said, looking at his dirty hands. I hope you like burgers and fries. Burgers and fries? 
Sammy said, what is burgers and fries? Jake grinned, hamburgers and french fries. French fries are skinny little potato slices. You dip them in ketchup? Sammy let out a sigh. Okay, I will try your food. Who will taste it for me? Taste it? Tink asked. Why? In my country, Sammy explained, my father's enemies sometimes try to poison him. He has a servant taste our food to make sure it is safe. Tink grinned at Sammy. My mom's a real good cook. She doesn't use much poison at all. Sammy's eyes bugged out. You are making a joke, right? Yeah, Tink said. But we have to tell her the truth about you, okay? Why? Sammy asked. Because it's the way we do things, Tink said. Don't worry, you're safe here. Nobody will get you in Green Lawn.